<laughs> but you gotta think like it makes sense that the Chiefs to have like a crazy fan like this because if you think about all the old musicians, like John yeah. Lennon and all of them, they all had crazy super fans. Even the super fans right now, like you remember the Swarms documentary with Beyonce. And it wasn't a documentary, but it was a Swarms was a TV show that I think it came out last year. Like I think Donald Glover helped produce it, but it's basically about like loosely based on this super fan, this Beyonce super fan that was running around on uh finding people that were like posted hate comments about Beyonce and allegedly attacking them. And he like kind of strung them all together as like a mention to like super fans, like like beware, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I don't know if this you think this counts as being like the super fan having to do with like um him committing these crimes, or do you think he was just like a degenerate? Uh, I I think he's just a degenerate <laughs> who happens to be a Chiefs fan. Like and I don't think <laughs> I don't think being a fan of a team would make you want to act violent and rob banks. But I mean, hey, maybe 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 things are different in Kansas City. I, I never like that. Like I don't know what is there to be like crazy about being a Chiefs fan. Like the Chiefs are cool and they're becoming like a crazy well known team but i don't know i mean that whole super fandom shit is weird to me it's like the fantano stuff with kanye like uh i know we mentioned it last week but like those toxic fan bases are like just so not it like i don't know i don't think i could ever we're all like i know we use this term stands very loosely right like we're all like really really good fans of like certain celebrities and the product they produce right but i don't think neither one me or you are like really stand stands i know you joked about it earlier about being a stand about j cole but I don't think I'm like a stand of Kanye. Do you think I'm a stand of Kanye like that? No, because I think I think we both can recognize the wrongdoings of people and artists. Um, so I wouldn't say either one of us are stands. I think we can like admire work and admire people for traits that they have, but I w- I wouldn't say obsessed is uh, what I usually connect with the word stand. Like a crazy, st- stupid fan, like you're yeah. saying. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Well, did you see that? Um, that that goes to my next thing is that um, I know uh, Eminem just announced that he's gonna come out with this documentary about like called Stan, based on Stan cultures. For those who don't know the name Stan, like you hear it all the time now. It's a playoff of Eminem fans, right? And I wonder how he's gonna do it. Like just a. Uh, if he'll be able to pull off like the holding a mirror to like stand culture, especially like on the internet, because if anybody can do it, I think M can do it. I just don't know if Eminem fans will necessarily like care because I don't see Beyonce or or uh, Nicki Minaj doing that to their crazy fans, or even Kanye for that example. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting how he like puts that onto a documentary. Um, I didn't even know he was doing this, so that that sounds pretty cool. Uh, where is it going to be on or like is that out no it's not no it's not out yet but i'm just wondering how that's going to work because i feel like when you do something like that you alienate your fan base and when you have that large of a fan base that like or stands like eminem has well m like doesn't seem like the person like he's kind of out of like not out of the loop but m isn't like He's just Eminem's a megastar, right? Eminem can sell out, sell out like stadiums and all that type of stuff for sure. But Eminem's not actively rapping. Like he'll do verses here and there, but like you know what I'm saying? Like not yeah. the same way that Nicki Minaj or Beyonce is actively like in the music business and in the scene. So I think he can maybe be one of the only ones to pull it off. Yeah. Because if he alienates his fan base, so what? Like it's Eminem. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm I mean? Saying? He's he's used to alienating people, like. That's just a normal Tuesday for him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, bro, Eminem is one of those artists. I don't know how we get into into this Eminem conversation, but, like, he's definitely hasn't aged the greatest, but I feel like his personality in that aspect. I'm surprised he didn't do no, like, Chappelle show or, like, um, more skits in the 2000s. I know that's, like, a, a big thing now, but I feel like Eminem would be perfect for that. Like, look at his music videos. Look at his, um, some of his songs, like, the certain level of, like, break the fourth wall like commentary he has i'd be yeah. down, i would have been down to see that yeah he's actually a pretty entertaining guy um <laughs> i was actually watching the interview the other day and i forgot he's in that movie and uh he, he's like he reveals to james franco that he's been 
like leaving little gay breadcrumbs in his music as he quoted and i was like that's really funny like just seeing that side of him uh like getting to be on the big screen i don't know i thought it was kind of cool um yeah i don't know how we got to talking about eminem but i mean it, it's really interesting to think about what people think about him now and what they think about him historically in hip hop. Like mm -hmm. what is your take on him? Do you think, you know, all, all criticism aside, do you think he's the top five, top 10 rapper of all time? I think I, I don't want to do this whole top 10 shit, but I'm, I'm, I'm an it's hard. With, yeah. But, but I think there's definitely a case to be made for me. I would say so probably towards the latter end. But I think the problem with M is that, like, he just didn't age the greatest. You know what I mean? I think his lack of, like, which, coincidentally, we just talked about his self-awareness, like, was he, one of his biggest strengths. I think it's become a lack of now yeah. in the 2020s. But, I mean, he's, uh, Eminem's fucking, like, 50 years old now. Like, of course, he's going to have that lack of self-awareness. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I just think it's a cool, it's a cool thing to look forward to 